Attention gamers, in case you have been living under a rock, Riot turned Voli into some long-nailed pissed-off polar bear and let me tell you, it has been a joy to watch the race to basic-ass unedited gameplay in a world where the most broken rework in existence somehow looks like this. Oh, no, no. And that was, uh, that was pretty insane, honestly. That was pretty insane. And this is the kind of engaging content that we all are just so lucky to have during our quarantine. So anyways I decided to get in on this hype and see why Riot is spending their time turning bears into bridge bashers instead of fixing things like this white square being on a killing spree. So let's break down why even turrets have stopped touching these tits in Rav's review of the pissed off polar bear. His passive is called, I get excited when I attack and basically he just gets off on scratch slapping things now so each attack makes him attack faster until he gets so excited that he starts edging making every auto attack squirt little jizzes of lightning at other enemies. This means jungle Voli gonna make them chickens his little bitch. His Q is Tomahawk Tommy where he charges in like a crazed psychopath until he catches you and puts that ass in timeout. And if you CC him it just pisses him off and resets the cooldown so basically do you want your stun now or later type of deal. His W is chomp this chump where he basically takes a bite out of that booty and marks you with an X and if you are marked, that means he liked his first bite and wants a second, and that second one gonna hurt bad, the second bite also heals the polar bear, here I took a bite out of some ash hole and liked what I tasted so I dicked around until I was ready for a second bite to finish the meal. His E is lil lightning later because unless you are full AP, its damage will be little, and when it says after a delay, it means 6 days after you cast it. Dancing in the rain yourself earns you a shield, wonder where they copy pasted that mechanic from. Finally his ult is cock block protection against any turrets trying to step in the way of him getting his nut. He does a hop and a ground pound to let nearby towers know to piss off. It is also worth noting that the fountain is unaffected by your desire to ignore its fellow co-workers and will issue a grade A cock block if you get any ideas. And like any other newly reworked champion that Riot wants to spark an initial burst of skin sales for, he is a bit overtuned. Psyched that entire montage was against beginner bots. Ha 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 ha. That is, that is not, that's not fun at all. But if you are pumped to see a real game with some Rav style commentary over this pissed off polar bear, please flash and ignite that upward thumb button so that my hard work in making these videos prevails over the low effort bullshit on this platform and subscribe for more. Okay real quick, I spent entirely too much money to buy a dope PC with Bunny Foo Foo the Glacier and Ross Boom Socks for a giveaway and it's easy as piss to enter and it's free so like even if you don't need a PC why would you not do it, give the PC to your mom or sell it for cat food money I don't give a shit but I spent big dollar bills to give you all the chance to win over 1500 bucks of value so check it out in the description. Now here are the most broken runes on the most broken rework in existence attribution Professor Akali. Aftershock throws a little party for you every time you go Tomahawk Tommy and Font of Life makes that party heal your furry ass. Conditioning gives you your winter coat of fur and overgrowth makes it so that the deaths of midget employees will be forever commemorated by a slightly longer green ween above your head. Triumph because whatever shit guide I got this from recommended it and coup de grace to make the meat of weak asses a bit more tender for your chump chomps. The game starts off with me getting a level 2 advantage and since I am the smartest person in existence, I know that 2 is greater than 1 so I jam my elbow weenus into my Q key and run up to chomp the chump and put an X on him. He sticks around just long enough for me to get horny so I light him on fire and then do a flash chump chomp part 2 which prompts an announcement from the sexy woman for all to hear. Then when Lava Lamp Lawrence gets back to lane I know I can get in a pissing match because I have been slapping little midgets which has my passive giving me the jizzy jitters so I channel this energy onto the rock as he thinks he is going to challenge these thunder thighs but quickly realizes that the pulsing X hovering on top of him means that I'm about to take a meaty bite out of that granite slab ass, so he does a piece I'm outie over the wall. 
So I take advantage of the lava lamp collector having no summoners by doing a quick rain dance and running up to stun the shitter in the storm before unloading all kind of panned up energy onto the stone. I really want to film the sequel to X marks the spot on the metal slab but his turret shines a frickin laser in my eyes so I back off. But me and my jungler just nailed a quick ping duet to make sure we are on the same page of the fuck him up book as I slide into Zeus's DMs to order a quick lightning bolt as I take a nice bite out of that boulder booty to bank some coins. Camping Karen on her Kodo comes back for another party with Optimus Prime and I drop a storm cloud to cut off his escape as he lights Karen on fire and I prove that this bear's reworked ultimate does no damage to targets that it misses as the Red Robe Academy turns the fleeing flasher into a feeder. We deem the feed intentional as a gold reset to distract us from the fact that we suck ass at this game. But that Kodo just wants to be on YouTube so I know she'll be camping again soon and sure enough she comes flying in and ties two ice cubes together with a towel before chucking it at the wall. We show Boulder Boy how high we can jump then I pull the power cord on the statue and rob the rock while it's offline. My team asks me to come check out this albino dragon they found and as I run down I see Lizzie the lizard doing her best male stripper impersonation before doing a color me cannonball to cuff the Kodo, but backup has arrived and we squash the salamander. We run bot to check on my banging internet gf and I get on all fours for that booty only to be put in the crystal cage but I break out and thank her for resetting its cooldown by slamming my fist down on her pretty little head. Then the man slut comes in and makes a lot of noise so we promptly tell him to shut the hell up as their anti carry cupid comes in just to be told that love is cold and I run up to hit him with the new punch munch and crunch combo. The whole ordeal took place in front of the red robe academy so I start murdering the witnesses as strawberry banana Nico makes an appearance. I have Zeus drop a deuce on that gecko and then I eat a quick fruit loop before telling her that if flashing is on her bucket list, she better do it now. Let's break down how many times I fail in this next play. First I charge in and stun a hooded midget instead of the tie dyed lizard. Then I decide to bust my nut on a dumb decoy as the real dandy lion pelts me with a starburst. I whiff an L bolt and somehow auto attack the air before backing off. I am thinking about calling it the greatest League of Legends play in existence and making a 35 minute video on it. Then I run around the neighborhood to fail from a different angle but thankfully that lucky ass lizard finally gets sliced by the Deadpool cosplayer. Then my Q still has me running like a boosted animal so I dump it on Lava Lamp Lawrence before casting an Echo W to grant me a shield as Kodo Karen helps me go ruby mining on the rock. I slap all the interactive toys Riot put in the game on my way back to mid lane only to see that someone ordered Chippendale Charlie to spin his meat on my team and instead of collecting some easy assist gold, I opt for better content by showing everyone what the reworked Volibear death animation looks like and very purposely getting destroyed. The things I do for you guys and gals. Then we are just tracing our dick outlines and chalk on this turret when the hair gel salesman comes up and instead of disabling the turret this time, I just collapse it instead as Zed reminds us all that he's been putting X's on people since before it was cool as we slut shame the stripper. A minute later and we catch white tights on his way for some revenge sex with Zed, which prompts a slap fest and he thinks a dramatic front flip is going to stop me from coup de grossing his anus for the kill. Then I start putting on my flanky Frankie costume until I see the gecko all alone but turns out that bitch just masturbated on me once again. I shamefully run mid to get my anger out by smashing some lava lamps as I get there just in time to break the last one. Then nothing is going to get in the way of me biting this bitch that's been baiting me all game so I tickle the tie dyed titty liquor until she flashes and my storm arrives a whole day late as I do nothing useful except let the tower shine its laser in my eyes until my jungler finishes off the lizard. We run up to start breaching their base as the sad stone wearing his inhibitor costume watches us take it down. Then the pink lemonade lizard does a fruit loop nuke and I channel my grandfather's spirit to make a ham and cheese sandwich on that shitter. Mr. White Tights comes up but I am still spirit stimulated so I slap him around until he takes me for a ride on the sex escort aerial express. One more tomahawk Tommy puts him to bed before I heal up for a sec as I nervously pace around pinging my teammates to get the piss off the nexus because I want to enjoy this bear before I have to sit through another 600 dodged lobbies to get him again. We end the game by going edging in fountain but I bust a nut too quick as we take home the easy dub. So I guess the very last thing you need to know about the new reworked Vala Bear is that he looks dope in the new Rav merch. Now if you are one of the real ones that still watched my Vala Bear video even though I was 3 days late to the party, I appreciate you and all your comments, they keep me going with my high effort content so please don't stop spreading the love. 
Also thanks to the huge amount of support I am receiving on Patreon, you are the real homies. Pet your dog jerk your ween buy my merch and brush your teeth tonight, rav out.